and we already know that pork is very versatile and there's no reason in the summer to have your oven going and heating the whole house simply because you want pork ribs. So we'll take it up to the grill instead. Make a wonderful spiced back pork rib along with an apple cider mop and it's really simple to do. We have our back ribs and we've already removed the membrane as you can see here. And now we're simply just going to add flavor. Now we know that pork is very tender already. We're simply just adding the flavor before we go to the grill. We're going to add some coarse salt, some paprika, some chili powder, some ground oregano, and we're also going to add some garlic powder. Now why would we be using coarse salt as opposed to just regular table salt? Because of the roughness and the coarseness, it's going to help the spices penetrate into the meat better. I'm going to add half a teaspoon of pepper to this. We're going to mix this together and we're going to rub the meat. So you're applying it really liberally and just adding, adding all of the spices. Now here's a little tip for you too. If you're making this for friends or family, you can leave this once this is ready to go to the grill. Leave it for about an hour out on the counter, no more, at room temperature. But if you're making this in advance, remember, once we've added our spices, you just pop it in the fridge, that's all. So you wanna get this covered as much as possible because this is the flavor, again, the salt's ground. So as we're getting this ready for the grill, remember, if you're gonna make this right away, you can allow the meat to sit at room temperature for up to one hour. It just prepares it for the grill. But if you're making it in advance, then just simply pop it in the refrigerator. And then once the ribs are coated, we're ready for the grill. So let's go outside with Ace and see the grill. Chrissy did all of the work. I'm just putting them on the barbecue. About uh, an hour and 15 minutes they've been on so far. We've got about 15 minutes left to go, is that right? Yeah. So about an hour and a half total, indirect heat. That tip I learned from Chrissy. And what does that mean exactly? I just follow instructions, right? And I'm good at that. So indirect heat means that we don't have an actual flame touching these. We don't want any flare-ups. We want it to be slow, and we want the flavor to cook through fully. We also have the apple cider um, sauce that we're applying here, the apple cider mop, which is apple juice. It's cider vinegar, it's mustard, it's soy sauce, and it's Worcestershire sauce. I have my own apron. so. Um, these, okay, the rubs on, they're good right now, we're going to make them better. And this is uh, apple cider mop, which is awesome. So I'm just going to rub them. Oh, come on. I know. So good. Can I be really... Liberal? Yeah, Go that's to what I want to know. Oh, oh, oh. People, you'll notice now, like, there's a few houses over there, they're starting to come, like, walking around which is weird but that's what happens you get like a lot of new friends people can smell that they want to stop by they want to be a part of it so they were rubbed they were um, grilled slowly about an hour and a half total and then we mopped them with the apple cider mop I think they're ready you say they're ready yeah right. this is awesome so these are all off the bone, pork ribs. Oops. You wanna try one? Yeah, let's do it. Try one. I like Chrissy's sample first. Oh, these are good. Look at that. I'm so excited. <laughs> Oh my word, you have to have one. These are so good. She made you made. She made them. So there you go. You have a ton of flavor from the spice that we added, the rub, and then of course the apple cider mop to finish it off. So for this great recipe and more. Oh that's good. I know. It's simple. Go to manitobapork.com. <laughs>